Okay, this is sentence equivalence question is a tricky one. And so we always want to make sure that we follow our steps. First, we want to look for clue. Oops, look for clue, there we go. Next thing we want to do is come up with own word. This is important here. Let's make sure, because we're looking for it, that the clue is written much nicer. So we have clue. We're going to look for the clue. And then we're going to come up with our own word. If you follow these steps, then we're less likely to make errors, because you'll see that this one is, has a couple of traps in it. So let's read it. The macromolecule RNA is common to all living beings, and DNA, which is found in all organisms except some bacteria, is almost as blank. So what's the structure here? Look for the clue. Well, RNA is common, and DNA is almost as common. So you can see that there's no shift going on in the sentence. We have common as a clue, and common also fits in to the first or into the only blank here. So this can be our own word. Just as RNA is common, DNA is almost as common. Now let's go to the answer choices. A, comprehensive. Well, if we hadn't come up with our own word, you could convince yourself, hmm, it's almost as comprehensive, it's thorough, and it's, yeah, it's kind of common. And if you do that, you'll get it wrong because comprehensive and thorough do not mean common. What about fundamental? Even trickier, right? Because RNA is fundamental, DNA is fundamental building blocks of life. We all know that. Easy, right? That's got to be an answer. But wait a second. We're going for the word common. That's the word that fits in the blank. So does fundamental and common. Do those mean the same thing? And the answer is no. So just because DNA is common and fundamental doesn't mean fundamental, it means common. So that's out. Inclusive just means including. Does it make sense in this context? Universal. If things are common if they're universal, they're found everywhere. Sure, that could definitely work. Significant. These things, maybe you pick significant, but again, you have to come up with your own word and you have to look at the sentence itself. It's going for common. It is not going for important or significant. So you get rid of that. And then finally, ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means found everywhere, which is perfect. Very similar to the word here, universal. So there are two answers. And again, if, you're, if you end up getting fundamental and universal, you, you can ask yourself, oh, is that, is that, are those two answers, are they sim similar enough? Are they saying the same thing? Just because something is fundamental, does it mean it's universal? Aha, no, that's a different thing. So again, even at the very end, look to see that your words are very similar and that they're creating synonymous sentences.